Hello everyone, it's me Tiger. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are here with another episode of our Sedona Let's Play series. If you haven't been keeping up with this series, I will link the playlist down below so you guys can catch up on all previous episodes. I also have some really cute merch available right now. You guys should totally get some. I will link my shop down below in the description as well. In the last episode, we built an awesome apple orchard. If you guys didn't see it, I will run over to it very quickly. It's right across um, the street from the Nook's Cranny. And this is what it looks like. We have our nice apple trees and an apple cider stand. I did add some more trees behind the stand here to make it look more full. And I also worked on the road behind it. Oh, and also I did decorate this beach off camera. I, <laughs> I just put a bunch of weeds everywhere because it's kind of back behind a bunch of stuff. And I don't think anyone's gonna be visiting this little tiny beach area. So I just covered it entirely in weeds to make it look kind of overgrown and like an abandoned, not very used beach. Back behind the apple cider stand, I did work on this little area. All I did was continue the road up here and then add some decorations on the sides. I was just annoyed and I couldn't help myself because it was unfinished and I just really wanted this whole area to look good. So <laughs> off camera, I did do this. Other than that though, nothing has changed. We do have some things that we need to work on in today's episode. I really wanna decorate the Able Sisters, so that's what we're gonna be doing first. I extended this little yellow hyacinth field by two rows to make it a little bit bigger and also to make this little area the perfect size for the Able Sisters. I already asked if I can move the shop, so I have the moving kit here and we can go ahead and squeeze the shop in here. Um. I think we need to back up. I want it to be perfectly snug against the road just like this and there is one square on the side for a sidewalk. Now we need to work on continuing the road down to the beach so I'm gonna open up the Island Designer app. I'm just gonna use the normal street path that I always use and I'm gonna continue it down till the end of the land like right here. If you want to use this design code or any of the design codes that you see on this island, I have put them all in the description for you guys. The first thing I like to do is lay down the light dirt pathway and then I go over that with the street path. I'm also going to take the dirt path over on this side in front of the store because I want to have like a little concrete area with some items. Now we can add our sidewalks. And since the road is going to end down here at the bottom, I'm just going to go ahead and take the sidewalk and do it down here as well. That way there's like a nice closed area instead of it just looking like the road continues down into the sand. Now we can actually add our street path on top of all of this. A few moments later. Now that we're done with the street, let's go and add some concrete in front of the shop here. I have this really nice concrete design code. It's a little square that has these nice borders on the edges that I really, really like. So I'm gonna just place that in front here. Okay, everything is done now. We have the street laid out and we also have this little concrete area in front. Now it's time to start adding some items. I'm gonna start by decorating like the outer edges of the store and then we can decorate kind of the front. Maybe a bench would look nice out here so you could sit down and I also have a little planter that I think would look really cute next to the bench. Now I was thinking about maybe adding some fence um, kind of going up into the store. Maybe the fence could go along the back. Part of me thinks that this looks really good but also I don't know if we'll have enough room to really put everything in front of the store that I wanted. It's so cute though. I love this spooky fence so much. Let's leave it and try to decorate with it there. And if the things that I wanna place don't necessarily fit, we can always just take it down. In front of the store, I just wanna have like some obvious clothing items so it looks like a clothing store. I brought these little tables that we can put out here in front and then we can maybe put some shoes and stuff on top. I wanna use neutral colored items here. I don't know why. I don't wanna use a lot of bright stuff. I want it to look a little bit more sophisticated. I got these little shoes to put here and then 
let's see do we have room to put anything like directly right here i mean yes we do have room but like is it too crowded i feel like this could work let me see what it looks like if we place down this wooden stool right next to it honestly i think this can work i think we can do it with the fence it's gonna be a little bit crowded but there's nothing wrong with that i really wanted to show off this hat too but i don't know if that's too if that's too much no i think that's actually really really cute let's also put an umbrella stand back here i don't know if there's technically room i guess we could put it right there I don't know you guys it's becoming really crowded really quickly i thought it would be so cute to have a little umbrella stand though maybe we can just put it like back here i also brought an old sewing machine which might be too big for this area now that we have kind of change the original size plans maybe we can put it like against the back here oh yes that's so cute let's put a little dress out here to add some detail make it look more like a clothing store we can just do this really nice orange dress oh that's that's not where i wanted this to go this is really cute i don't know if i like the fence because it is a little bit different than the other fence that we use on the island. It kind of is giving me like a different theme vibe. I'm gonna try to use the blue iron fence instead, even though I don't think it'll really match all the decor that we have outside of the store. Maybe it'll kind of help pull it in with the rest of the island. So let's just try it. If it looks bad, we can always change it. This doesn't look bad. This doesn't look bad. I think we need to time travel and have the Able Sisters actually um, move their store here so we can see what the store looks like with all this because right now it just looks kind of like a messy construction site. I'm gonna place one little green leaf pile down here and then let's go ahead and time travel and see what this looks like. All right, we're back. It's a little bit rainy, but it's fine. Let's go right back here and see how this is looking. Oh my gosh, wait, this might be perfect because I think there's actually room to put some stuff back here so i'm gonna move this out of the way let's go ahead and open up this app again and place down some of the pathway in front of the store we might actually have some more room which is great we can actually take this path all the way down okay this looks so much better than i was getting ready for let's move this over because it's kind of not on the edge of the store like I want it to be and now we have so much more open space to use here let's put the ironwood table thing back with the shoes um, up against the store I really like the way that that looks so let's put this back I have this cow print dress that I think matches the vibe too so we can put this one down I just feel like this blue doesn't really match the furniture it doesn't really match the store let's just try this again maybe it It'll look better i don't know maybe we shouldn't use any fence but at the same time the fence just pulls it together so well this looks so good okay i think that i'm gonna keep the spooky fence because i think it just matches everything a lot better now for the sewing machine i'm not so sure if that's really what i want to have out here i think i'm just gonna try to use some smaller items instead because I don't know the sewing machine just takes up too much space and i think it makes the whole build look a little wonky instead we can just have like a little bench and some flowers i don't know just make it look normal could try to put just like a sewing machine and have it turned around kind of like this let's get rid of this little fence here too and we can move this back a little bit more you know this doesn't look bad we can even put another dress right in front of this so maybe it looks like they're working on another dress design i don't know you guys i feel like the cow print dress looks kind of weird now too maybe we should put something else i have this other like orangey dress that we could use that i think would match just a little bit better i think that these like really bright white dresses just don't match we can put this this other one down here too i think that this will just yeah yeah this looks so much better already yes on top of the stool i did want to have this little candle set because it's just really cute i know that it's kind of too big for the stool maybe i should put it on top of 
this little table over here instead. Let's do the candles here and then we can have the actual shoes maybe on top of the stool. This doesn't look bad. This does not look bad. Um, maybe we should do the brown shoes? Maybe we should just take this off and just do the candles in the middle. I'm so sorry guys, I'm so indecisive. Usually that's why I make speed builds because the building process is just so crazy and I feel like it would be so boring to watch. Let's try to put these brown shoes up here instead. I feel like, yes, that looks so much better. I think this is looking a lot more of what I was imagining. I think this looks pretty decent. Let's go ahead and open up the camera so we can see it from like this angle yes this looks so good i think this is fine let's go like around the back maybe we should move this a little bit but i wanted to see what this looks like if you're coming from this direction so it looks like we just have the building and it looks really cool i feel like it adds to the little city vibe that we have going on at the front of the island i think i'm pretty proud with this i think this looks pretty decent I'm gonna go ahead and stop decorating at this point. If you guys have any suggestions or changes to recommend, please leave them down below. But I think I've had enough of decorating the Able Sisters. I think I'm done. It looks good. It looks okay. It's good enough. I don't know. Let's move on to something else though because this is driving me crazy. There is a little bit of terraforming that I wanted to do over here by the gas station. So I want to have this little road start right here and then I want there to be a bridge that leads to the other side. In order to have a bridge though, we do need to kind of work on the landscape and make it a little bit more even and ready for a bridge. Okay, I'm just trying to dig up this flower and I just, I can't. Now let's destroy this and then let's just, let's just do this whole thing. So my plan is to just completely get rid of the river right here. Obviously we are gonna need the river down at this part so that a bridge can go over it. But I'm thinking how cool would it be if we just had like a little pond of some sort back here, kind of where the river comes to an end because I really, really don't want the river to be continued back off into this direction back here. I want this all to just be land. I don't want any river flowing through. I'm thinking that if we had a pond with a nice cliff behind it, it would definitely make it look natural and kind of like the start of the river. This is so confusing. I feel like everything, <laughs> I feel like I keep repeating myself trying to get my point across, but I don't know. I. Just wait until it's done, you guys, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Let me just destroy this river real quick. A few moments later. I think that this honestly looks fine. Okay, we're gonna have to take care of this problem. We're gonna have to get rid of all these shrubs because they are definitely in the way. All right, I think that this is a pretty good size. I feel like it could be smaller, but it's fine. We're gonna work with it anyways. Like I said, I did want to have a cliff going right behind it so that there could be some waterfalls flowing into it. I don't want to make the cliff too big either because we are going to have a road going from right here. Like this road is going to continue in this direction. So I don't want the cliff to like interfere with that. Yes, that is beautiful. Let's go ahead and round off the edges here. Back behind here, we can just add some weeds. It's not like this area is gonna be very visible. All right, let's just add some flowers. We can add some more shrubs as well. I just wanna make this look really crowded with a bunch of nature-y items, kind of like what I have going on right beside it back here. Um, where you can kind of see there's a lot of shrubs and flowers and a bunch of random stuff. We could even put a butterfly model right here if we wanted to. Um, okay, that's the wrong button. I think I have a monarch butterfly model in my inventory, so this is perfect. We can put down some flowers and then let's grab our butterfly. Here she is. Hello. Welcome. You look beautiful. And then we can also just fill this in with some more flowers. Now let's go up on top of the cliff and decorate up here. Again, we're just going to crowd it with some nature and also we are going to add some waterfalls. So let's just do one. 
maybe just one waterfall like right here this could this could work we don't have a lot of room for trees so i'm just gonna do one single tree i'm gonna do a hardwood tree because they are a bit wider and they take up more space so it'll make it look a little bit more crowded and then we can just do the same thing add a bunch of flowers and shrubs all around the cliff i'm gonna go grab some more flowers and another butterfly model to put up there and i guess while we're already over here we can go grab the bridge from the resident services to to place on the road back there let's head back to the gas station so we can go ahead and place the bridge i'm just gonna place it lined up with the street here so i think this will be perfect let's go ahead and place it down this is gonna be so cute look at the cliff back there with the waterfall and the nice little pond this is gonna be so great i brought some more flowers that we could put back here lastly i did bring a butterfly model that we could place up here too i have a dragonfly model or we could use a butterfly model i think i'm gonna do the dragonfly because look at that he is so cute i'm gonna go ahead and time skip a little bit so we can have this bridge ready and also we can have everything grown up there and then i'll be back and we can take a look see at it we are back on the island and we are here at the bridge everything looks so cute i love the little pond there is some fixing up we need to do with the pathway here. I think that if we just stand here, we can fix it without having to open up the terraforming app. It looks so good over here though. I can't wait to decorate on the other side of the bridge. That way it looks more finished and it'll just look a lot better. And now we have this nice bridge going across and we can build whatever we want over here. Obviously the houses won't stay over here. I know there's so many houses. This is where I've crowded all of my villager homes on my island to keep them out of the way. But as you can see, we won't be able to keep them here much longer because our island is slowly expanding in that direction. But I think that we made some really good progress on the island today. We got this little bridge, pond, and cliff area built. And we also decorated the Able Sisters, which is a lot that we did today. I think we had a pretty successful episode. Look at how cute this is looking. We finally have these last two rows of the field grown in, so it looks even better. I'm honestly really proud of the Able Sisters. It was kind of hard. Um, at first, I feel like it wasn't really turning out like how I wanted it to look, but we finally reached a look that I'm proud of and I'm pretty satisfied with. As always, please leave your suggestions down below if you would like to see any changes made. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have the greatest day or night. Don't forget to also like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. It would help me out a ton. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!